Hey guys, so I am in Bolton today. I am very excited to start this video. I'm literally parked up. I pulled the camera out. I cannot wait. So I'm going to go to one of my favorite dessert places. I've tried them in Manchester. They've got a branch here in Bolton. Let me show them off to you. Honestly, I cannot tell you how excited I am. Excitement levels very high today, guys. So I think they're around here. This looks like a pretty busy street in Bolton. I feel like they're up here on the right. Oh, I can just see them. Who can see them already? Here we are. Let's do it, guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a few items today, guys, because in the last video, I showed you I did get quite a few and I loved a lot of it. And what I am going to do, guys, I'm going to save my favorite thing until the end. You have to see. It's gone through a little bit of like a, a name change. It's going to be a good one, guys. You have to wait until the end to see my favorite thing here. It will be worth it. Guys, so order has been placed. I think I've nailed it. I think I've got my favorite items and the things that I think you guys definitely got to try. So yeah, order's been placed. I'm going to take it back to the car and uh, start this like dessert bonanza. Our food's getting prepared and they've kindly let me kind of put my uh, thingamajiggy, my um, camera there, just to show it off this uh, waffle. If you look at it guys, absolutely jam-packed full of chocolate, the things that I like. We've got some Kinder Bueno there. We've got some crushed up Oreo. We've got some white chocolate and it feels heavy. It, this is substantial. This looks unreal. I'm tempted to just kind of pick up like a pizza, just kind of have a go, but I'll be orderly because it's YouTube. This isn't TikTok and I'm going to use a knife and fork guys. So I'm going to do it properly. Can't forget a classic raspberry ripple ice cream. Let me get into this. Oh, do you know what? I can already tell it's crispness on the outside. It's fluffy inside. I'm so excited to try this, guys. I am so excited. That isn't one of the best waffles in Manchester. I don't know what is that. Guys, I'm not even a massive dessert person, but here I am. This, full of really good toppings, which are great, but really what makes it for me is actually the waffle itself. Crispy on the outside, fluffy in the inside, which is actually hard balance to do. Um, to actually meet, and then a classic raspberry ripple ice cream, though I should say they actually have a, a variety of ice creams. I just like something a little bit plain, something with a little bit of tartness to go with the chocolate. All right, just take a look at these guys. What do you think these are guys? Uh, what do you think these are guys? Have a guess. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. I didn't try this last time. This is a fried Ferrero Rocher. I think this is something that I wanted to get last time. I forget why, I just, I just didn't get it. But look at it. This looks indulgent. This looks big as well. This is a proper, proper bite. You know, I'm gonna do it all in one. The portion size is decent actually, but for me, I'm gonna try and put the whole thing in my mouth in one go. Oh, it's got a Kinder Bueno and Nutella, like a sauce around it as well. I'm slightly intimidated. It's not, it's not tiny, it's, it's a big portion that. Or a big uh, bite full, I should say. That's delicious. That's getting. It is getting up. That is getting it. Hey, man. I can't even try it last time. Unbelievable. If you come in here, get this. Get this one for sure. Obviously, I like a lot of desserts here, but I've never had this before. Never seen it anywhere else. Try this for sure. That's getting a Hey, man. Let me take something back to the car that you guys have probably never seen. I've never seen. Let me take it. This is a surprise. Guys, you can see hands are full. Now that I've tried that waffle, let's try some more stuff. And then we're actually going to head back for some something that you need to stay by to the end but let's take this back to the car okay so we are back in the car and i've got a few goodies to show you so number one they made a shake for me obviously it's a dessert shop they made a shake for me i asked for a bounty shake i'm not seeing this very often and i love bounty it's my favorite chocolate much maligned chocolate I love a good bounty. If someone makes a joke about me being a bounty, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just not gonna be happy. And then there's a, also talking of bounty, don't make any jokes, okay? Don't make jokes. They actually do fried bounty, so I thought I'll try that. And then later, I'm gonna go back to show you some epic stuff. So, um, but before that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for something which I've actually never had before. This is a filled cookie dough. So cookie dough there, you can see that sort of um, bump, if you will, because it's actually filled. So I'm looking forward to trying it. Gonna get my trusty fork. I mean, I have to say that looks pretty darn nice. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that, but looks like a sweet, gooey, good lump of just deliciousness. I am just, oh, I love the look of that. It looks indulgent. If you like cookie dough, if you're a fan of cookie dough, 
You come here and you get this. I've never had anything like this before. It's so soft. It's really sweet, but like, it actually doesn't feel overly sweet. I'm always afraid that dessert's gonna be too sweet. This is the perfect balance of like sweetness, a tiny bit of crispiness on the outside of the actual uh, cookie dough, soft and indulgent on the inside. They've got some white chocolate sauce and they've got some Biscoff crumb inside just to improve it like texturally, you know? Oh, that's just delicious. That's just so good. That's so good. Guys, I'm a massive fan of that. I'm such a fan of that. I don't think I had that last time. That's one of the best cookie doughs I've ever had. That is getting a hey, <laughs> man. I'm not a fan of cookie dough and I would get this again. Look, it's getting serious, okay? This is coming straight off. Now we are ready. I had to get myself ready for the uh, the two bounty items before going back and trying something that I know half of you have not had before. Oh, I opened up the uh, cookie dough again. I must just be in the mood for it. Let's go for the fried bounty. Look at it, <laughs> massive. That is chunky. Okay, how do I attack this bad boy then? Not like that. <laughs> I don't know why Bounty's so maligned. I don't get it. It's coconut and chocolate, two amazing things. I don't know why, I don't know why people don't like Bounty. It's so good, it starts making you ponder about life. I mean, what is life? Who came up with that? That's unbelievable. I like Bounty anyway, but the fact that it's fried in this like really nice crispy batter, which is actually slightly more on the savory side. So it balances all the chocolate. Delicious, absolutely delicious. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna wash it down with my very own Bounty shake. Guys, so I think what we're gonna do now is head back to the shop because last time there was a, a couple of things I tried, or one in particular, that I really wanna highlight again because I just, I need to let you guys know how good it is. And I had it last time and I know a lot of you tried it, but my channel has like doubled, if not tripled in size since then. So to the new subscribers, you need to know what I'm talking about. I, I need to show this off to you. Just sort of driving around Bolton, I feel like the food scene's actually really good. And I'm not really explored, but I'm thinking I will do. I did one day here where I covered, I did like two or three places. It's not far from where I live. I live in Manchester. It's just a quick drive away. The food scene seems really good. So if you've got suggestions, guys, please let me know in the comments. Let me know the places I should try in Bolton. Uh, but for now, we're going to go back and show you a couple of cool things. And then I'm going to take something back to the car, which I'm not sure if it's even on the menu, but the guy who works at the range let it slip. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get it. I'm going to see if I can get it. I'm going to ask him and we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. I want a bit of a sugar rush. I am so excited. Let's head back and get some more food. Now, this is the thing that I wanted to wait right until the end to. We still have something else to eat, which I want to show you. But this, I had this last time. This got a massive hey, man. This is, it used to be called, it's technically a fried Oreo. However, on the menu, this would be called an Oreo surprise, which I think is a lovely name because it is actually, it's a good surprise. So this is kind of similar to the last one, but obviously Oreo, but the sauce is a white chocolate and milk chocolate sauce. It is chunky. I'm gonna try and break it in half if I can. I am tempted to do this in one mouthful as well, but due to the nature of Oreos, they're a bit bigger than uh, Frere Rocher, right? So this is bigger too. So I'll do it in one bite. No, I'll do it. I mean, I'll break it in half and do it in two bites. Fried Oreo, a bit of ice cream, a bit of milk sauce, milk chocolate sauce rather, a bit of white chocolate sauce. That's on another level. You need to try this. I know I said that for the last thing, but you can have more than one dessert, guys. That is getting a hey, man. That is so different, so unique, and so indulgent. But because of Oreos, the nature of Oreos, they're not like super, super, super sweet. It actually adds like, savory is the wrong word, but it basically balances it so it's not too sweet, you know? The batter itself helps that as well. Just, just try it, trust me. Guys, right, look at this, this is, the ice cream burger. Look at that. That, guys, is combining my two loves, ice cream and burgers. Let's give this a go. Guys, I'm literally rushing back to the car because I want to get my mouth around this. I want to get it whilst it's hot because this looks too good. This looks too good. This is a Biscoff burger. Let's uh, check it out in the car. This has to get eaten right now because it's warm and I think it's gonna be best when it's warm. I want the full experience, guys. That's what I'm looking for. Look at that. So this has got Biscoff ice cream, Biscoff crumb and Biscoff sauce. My Lord. Guys, I think I've had one ice cream burger before and it was a letdown. So I was like, I didn't want that to taint my um, view of ice cream burgers. This, however, is absolutely unbelievable. The brioche is perfect. It's actually perfect. It's got a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit. The ice cream works really well because I thought 
a Biscoff ice cream, Biscoff sauce and crumb, it might be too much, but there's enough of the vanilla ice cream in that Biscoff that it kind of actually balances really well. This is absolutely, I have to do it. I have to do it. This is why these guys are one of the best dessert shops around. This is getting a hey, man, I love this. Guys, as you can imagine, I'm going to recommend these guys. I think they just, the desserts are, are so good. A lot of them are so inventive. They still have the classics. They've got the waffles and the crepes and the ice cream and all that kind of stuff. But they do things like they fill the cookie dough. They have ice cream burgers. They do the Oreo and a Ferrero Rocher surprise. So they've got the classics, but they also are pushing the boundaries. So some of the combinations here are unbelievable. And I'm not even a dessert person. And I highly, highly recommend these guys. So if you do want to check them out, this is the Bolton branch. I'm going to leave the link to that branch in my description. Highly recommend it. This has got to be one of the best places for dessert for sure. One of my absolute go to. So do check them out. However, if you want to see another video, all you got to do, guys, is click right up there. Please make sure to support, trying to get to 50K this year. So do like, comment, share, and please do subscribe. But I'm going to see you all in that next video. Bye 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 bye.